Executive Secretary, National Board for Technical Education, Professor Idris Bugaje, has called for the harmonization of the Industrial Training Fund, ITF, and the National Directorate of Employment, NDE, for effective skills development in the country. Bugaje disclosed this in Abuja at the seventh edition of Industry Partnership for Skills Development. He noted that the introduction of apprenticeship training under the Nigeria Skills Qualification Framework across the country right from technical colleges was urgently needed. While the NSQF provides a pragmatic platform for all stakeholders of skills development, there is need for an act of the National Assembly to legally back it and trench it deeply, collapsing all other skills training programs into it. The NOS and assesses and verifiers needed to deliver the NSQs are grossly inadequate, the training centers are poorly equipped, and both government and the private sector must collaborate to change the narrative through PPPs in establishment of VTIs or interventions like Angotis Obajana Skills Training Center. That is a drop in an ocean. We need much more of that. Third fund should be directed to fund training of assessors and verifiers in politics in Nigeria. ITF should be made to transit to NSF on a new paradigm. And Nigeria's socio-economic challenges cannot be solved if the above are not promptly addressed and government and the organized private sector must work in signage to build a strong skills-driven economy. Earlier speaking, the Minister of State for Education, Mr. Chukwemeka Nwajoba, who represented Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo, lamented the gaps that existed in the skills industry. This dialogue between policymakers and those who actually drive policy during project implementation should actually happen. Our purpose would be to assess the gaps some that are latent, some patterned, that we all may identify and I'll sage what it is that is our common problems using what we believe will be our local solutions. GIZ has then offered to partner with us alongside with the World Bank and all the development partners uh, who have offered over time to help Nigeria along this match. The Ministry of Labor and Employment has had the onerous task of trying to identify these gaps in our labor conduit and figure out how the Ministry of Education, acting through the National Board for Technical Education, can then fill them in. That is what led or what has led to the emergence of this TVET program because everybody has found out quite well enough over time that there is some serious gap in this sector. Also, Mr. Sonny Etrono, Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Education, represented by the Director of Polytechnic Education in the Ministry, said it was necessary for Nigeria as a country to key into the fifth industrial revolution that would make it complete globally in the area of skills. The issue of skills and related matters are germane in terms of the current situation around the world. And it is necessary that we meet those who require this skill halfway. We cannot allow them to be where they are, but we meet them halfway so that together we can put them on the right path for them to be what they are supposed to be. The event brought together experts in various industries to find lasting solutions to address skill gaps in the country.